we are supremely delighted in celebrating uh, this most auspicious, blissful, purifying occasion of Sri Nityananda Prabhu's auspicious appearance. So much can be said about Sri Nityananda Prabhu. Sri Nityananda Prabhu's glories are as inconceivable as the pastimes of Nityananda Prabhu. In fact, Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami has described in another text that he has written that it is possible to hold the sun in one's palms. It is possible to break a mountain with one's head. It's possible to count the number of stars in the night sky. It's possible to count the number of raindrops during a rain shower. It's possible to count the number of atoms. It's impossible to count the number of glorious qualities that the Supreme Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Sri Nityananda Prabhu possess. Their names, their forms, their qualities, their pastimes, their paraphernalia, their abode, everything about them is inconceivably sweet and unlimitedly beautiful. Sahaje Vichitra Madhur Chaitanya Vihar Brindavana Dasamukhe Amritaradhar. Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami has said that the pastimes of Gaur Nitai are spontaneously magnanimous and very sweet in nature. Sahaje Vichitra Madhur Chaitanya Vihar. Chaitanya Vihar. The pastimes of Gaur Nitai are spontaneously astonishing and very sweet. And Vrindavana Dasamukhe Amritaradhar, especially when it comes from the lotus lips of Vrindavan Das Thakur, it is a stream of nectar. Chula Vrindavan Das Thakur in his Chaitanya Bhagavat has been maddened and intoxicated with devotion for Sri Nityananda Prabhu. Even while disguised, discussing and describing pastimes of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, or let's say even about other devotees, so many times in the Chaitanya Bhagavat, Sri Vrindavan Das Thakur, out of love for his spiritual master, Sri Nityananda Prabhu, and the Lord of his life, Nityananda Prabhu. He starts speaking about Nityananda Prabhu, <laughs> starts glorifying about Sri Nityananda Prabhu. And then he mentions that whatever I am being inspired to speak about Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is actually the inspiration that I receive in my heart by the Antaryami, the super soul Sri Nityananda Ram. In the Chaitanya Bhagavat and in the Chaitanya Charitamrit and also other texts like the Navdeep Dham Mahatmya of Srila Bhakti Nath Thakur, there is inconceivable uh, significance that has been placed upon the chanting of the holy names of Nityananda Prabhu. In fact, Srila Prabhupada, I would like to read this purport. This is Chaitanya Charitamrit, Adirila chapter 8, text 31. This is the words, translation and purport. Chaitanya Nityananda Nahi E Sabavichar Nama Laite Prema Dena Pahe Ashrudhar translation by Srila Prabhupada. But if one only chants with some slight faith the holy names of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Sri Nityananda Prabhu, very quickly he is cleansed of all offenses. Thus, as soon as he chants the Hare Krishna Mahamantra, he feels the ecstasy of love of Godhead. Purport. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur remarks in this connection that if one takes shelter of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Nityananda Prabhu and follows their instruction to be to become more tolerant than a tree and humbler than a blade of grass, and in this way chants the holy name. Very soon he achieves the platform of transcendental loving service to the Lord, and tears appear in his eyes. There are offenses to be considered in chanting the Hare Krishna Mahamantra, but there are no such considerations in chanting the holy names of Sri Sri Gaur Nityananda. Therefore, if one chants the Hare Krishna Mahamantra, but his life is still full of sinful activities, it will be very difficult for him to achieve the platform of loving service to the Lord. This is Srila Prabhupada in the purport. But if, in spite of being an offender, one chants the holy names of Shri Shri Gaur Nityananda, he is very quickly freed from the reactions of his offenses. Therefore, one should first approach Shri Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Nityananda Prabhu or worship Guru Gauranga and then come to the stage of worshipping Shri Shri Radha Krishna. One should first take shelter of Gaurnitai in order to reach ultimately Radha Krishna. In the beginning, one should very regularly chant Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's holy names and chant the holy names of Nityananda Prabhu. Then one's heart will be cleansed of impure desires for material enjoyment. 
for an ordinary man worship of shri chaitanya nityananda prabhu or the panchatattva is easier than worship of radha krishna therefore a neophyte student who is not very sufficiently educated or enlightened should not indulge in the worship of shri shri radha and krishna if he does so he will not get the desired result one should therefore chant the names of nitai gaur and worship them without false prestige <laughs> and so much more in the purport so the point is the holy names of chaitanya mahaprabhu and nitananda prabhu are glorified by all acharyas in so many texts we can find in the chaitanya charitamrita adhirila chapter 8 the same chapter shri krishna das kaviraj goswami has said that even someone who is very sinful someone who is not interested on the path of bhakti if they chant the names of nityananda prabhu and take shelter of him then ecstatic symptoms will appear in their body chapter 8 text 23 uh, krishna das kaviraj goswami says nityananda bolite hoy krishna premodai olaya shakala anga ashru ganga just by saying nityananda ha nitai jai nitai krishna prem udai krishna prem will rise in the heart even if he is very sinful and the whole body will be drenched with tears ganga will appear as tears krishna das kavi raj ko swami has said and the same thing has been mentioned by shri pad madhavendra puri in the chaitanya bhagavat quoted by shri brindavan das tagore shri pad madhavendra puri says if someone takes shelter of nityananda prabhu's holy names hears the holy name chants the holy name then what will happen definitely they will get krishna nityanand heno bhakta shunile shravane avashya paibe krishna chandra seijane anybody nityanand heno bhakta shunile shravane avashya paibe krishna chandra seijane anybody who chants the name of nityanand he says nityanand glorifies nityanand and preaches about nityanand listens to the holy name of nityananda avashya paibe krishna chandra seijan definitely he will get krishna chandra and there's no doubt about it that krishna was very difficult to get it is described that uh, how is the abode of mahavishnu to be attained how is it how, is it easy or is it difficult katham vishnu padam proktam durlabham ati durlabham shastra describes the lotus feet of vishnu to attain uh, it's certainly impossible and what to speak of attaining krishna in brindavan it is certainly difficult but anyone who chants the name of nityananda prabhu takes shelter of gaurnitai oh avashya paibe krishna chandra sejane definitely they will get krishna chandra and of this there is no doubt again adrila chapter 11 we can see krishna das kaviraj goswami he um, accounts for different associates of nityananda prabhu he is giving a record of different associates and he mentions how all of them chanted and remembered nityananda prabhu and as a result they were all intoxicated in love of god in chapter 11 text 33 of the adrila krishna das kaviraj goswami has said in chaitanya charitamrit navadvipe purushottama pandita mahashay nityananda name jar maha unmad ho navadvipe purushottama pandita mahashay in navadvip there was a personality by the name purushottam pandit who is described according to the gaur ganadesh dipika as toka krishna krishna's dear friend in vrindavan and what is described about him navadvipe purushottama pandita mahashay nityananda name jar maha unmad he would be intoxicated chanting the holy name of nityananda and therefore certainly everyone considered him to be a great soul and then not just uh, purushottam pandit of uh, navadvi krishna das kaviraj goswami now describes balaram das another associate of nityananda prabhu and he was also intoxicated chanting the holy names of nityananda balaram das krishna prema rasa swadi nityananda name hoy parama unmadi balaram das krishna prema rasa aswadi he used to taste krishna prem krishna prema rasa and how did he taste that nityananda name hoy parama unmadi by constantly chanting the names of nityananda mahaprabhu gauranga mahaprabhu and nityananda mahaprabhu and remembering them chanting their holy names and taking shelter krishna prem rose in the heart of balaram das 
नित्यानंद बोली जावे करे न हुंका देखी लोकेर होए महा चमत्कार एस फार एज मीन केतन रामदास इज कंसर्न अनदर ग्रेट एसोसिएट ऑफ नित्यानंद प्रभु कृष्णदास कविराज गोस्वामी डिस्क्राइब्स नित्यानंद बोली जावे करे न हुंकार ही यूज्ड टू रोर जेंटिंग द नेम ऑफ जय दिताय हा नित्यानंद हा नित्यानंद गौर हरि बोल गौर हरि बोल नित्यानंद बोले जावे करे न हुंकार ही यूज्ड टू हुंकार मींस रोरिंग ही यूज्ड टू रोर चैटिंग द नेम ऑफ नित्यानंद प्रभु एंड ताहा देखी लोकेर होए महा चमत्कार पीपल अराउंड दे यूज्ड टू बी एस्टोनिश्ड टू सी or wonder struck to see such ecstatic symptoms appearing in the body of a personality who chanted the name of nityananda prabhu our bhaktivinod thakur mahashay in navadvip dhamatna he has said gaur nityananda nama bale ek bar ananta karma dosha antahai tar in the first chapter itself shila bhaktivinod thakur mahashay in the navadvip dhamatna he has described गौरांग नित्यानंद नाम बल एक बार इफ समवन चैंस गौर निताय हा गौरांग हा नित्यानंद ओ नित्यानंद राम जय निताय जय निताय अनंत कर्म दोष अंत है ता अनलिमिटेड सिन्स ऑफ अनलिमिटेड लाइफ टाइम्स आर ऑल बर्न टू एशेस बाय जस्ट चैंटिंग द नेम्स ऑफ नित्यानंद नित्यानंद नाम जे सुनिले एक बार फॉरगेट अबाउट सेइंग इफ समबडी जस्ट लिसंस टू द नेम वंस अनंत पाप अनंत जन्म खंड अनलिमिटेड वृंदावन दास ठाकुर नित्यानंद प्रभु वॉज सो काइंड दैट ही अपलिफ्टेड एवरी वन समाइम्स वी नो दिस वेरी फेमस एनोलॉजी दैट वी हियर इन इस कॉन दैट श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु एंड नित्यानंद प्रभु दे Uh, uplifted the whole world and how did they do it chaitanya mahaprabhu uplifted those who are qualified and nityananda mahaprabhu uplifted those who are not qualified <laughs> those who had no gati nityananda mahaprabhu was their gati <clears throat> agatira gati nitai sadhu loka bhuge shila gaur govind maharaj a very great devotee of nityanand prabhu on the day of nityanand trayodashi he used to roar and cry and weep and loudly call out daya koro more nitai daya koro more agatir gati nitai sadhu lok bole sadhu lok bole the sadhus the saints have a point what have they given their opinion as daya karo more nitai daya karo more worship and call out to nityananda prabhu why a gatir gati nitai sadhu lok bole that those who have no destination no future on the path of spiritual life were filled with abominable sinful activities of the past reactions are tormenting them they are addictions they are anarthas they are offensive mentality they are sinful proclivity samsara dukha jalato patitasya kama krodaadi nakra makarai kavali krutasya durvasana nigaditasya nirashrayasya chaitanya chandra mama dehi padavalamba in the chaitanya chandramrita shila prabodhananda saraswati has said that our situation in kali yuga is as follows samsara dukha jalado patitasya kama we are fallen into an ocean where the water is dukha which means we have fallen into an ocean of suffering now when someone can say if you have fallen into an ocean why don't you swim across it go across swim across the ocean he says no that's not possible why because my hands and legs are tied by the iron shackles of bad inclinations proclivity addictions nigaditasya nirashrayasya i'm helpless my hands and legs are tied imagine someone's tied and thrown into the water they would just go down sink to death so prabodhananda saraswati has said my situation oh mahaprabhu is like that i am thrown into the ocean of suffering in kali yuga and my hands and legs are tied by the iron shackles 
of my bad activities. And as I'm trying to hit the surface and try to swim to the best, whatever I can, the underwater aquatics are killing me. They are eating me up. What are they? Krodadi nakra makarai kavali kritasya. Kam krod loh moh mat matsari. Lust, anger, greed, pride, envy. All of them have come like sharks and crocodiles underwater to rip me to pieces. And at this point, I can be in this water because it is the water of suffering. I can cross over. I don't know to swim. If I try to swim, my hands and legs are tied by bad activities and sinful reactions. And as I'm sinking and I'm suffering, I'm being smothered. I have these aquatics of the anarthas who are trying to rip me to pieces. At such a point, except for Gauranga Mahaprabhu and Nityananda Prabhu, Prabhodananda Saraswati writes in Chaitanya Chandramrita, we Kali Yuga Jeevas have no shelter. And between the two, we see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. When he saw Jagai and Madai, he invoked the Sudarshan Chakra, but Nityananda Prabhu, he cried for them. Nityananda Prabhu, he wept and cried, beseech Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Everybody in Kali Yuga is going to be sinful like Jagai and Madai. If we start using the Chakra, then we'll have to kill everyone. Let's kill the sins in them. Let's kill the sinful demoniac tendency in their heart, but let them be alive. This is Nityananda Prabhu. So he's the most merciful in the whole creation. In the Chaitanya Bhagavad Srila Vrindavan Das Thakur has said, Vanika Adhama Murkha Jeka Rilapar Brahmanda Pavitra Hoy Nama Lailaja. Just by chanting Hanitai, Hanitai, Jainitai, Jainitai, chanting the name of Nityananda Prabhu, Vanik Adhama Murkha Jeka Rilapar Brahmanda Pavitra Hoy Nama Lailaja. Just by chanting the name of Nityananda Prabhu, Businessmen, those who are not interested in the path of bhakti, Adhama, those who are very foolish to um, even comprehend the intricacies of the path of bhakti, Murkha, those who are crooked and foolish, Jai Lapar, they all crossed over the ocean of birth and death. And Brahmanda Pavitra Hoy, the whole creation became purified by the chanting of the holy names of Nityananda Prabhu. This is the power of chanting the name of Nithai. Chaitanya Bhagavat continues that anyone who chants the name of Nityananda Prabhu, Krishna Prem comes searching for them. Vrindavandas Thakur has said, Chaitanya Nityananda Bali Jejeeva Dake Suvimala Krishna Prema Anveshe Thake That Krishna Prem comes searching for a person who calls out with tears to Nityananda Prabhu and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Nityananda Gauranga Bali J Jeev Dake, that living entity who cries with the name of Nityananda Prabhu. Suvimala, which means pure Krishna Prema Anveshya Thake. Living beings are searching for Krishna Prem, and here Krishna Prem comes searching for a person who chants the names of Nityananda Prabhu. This has been mentioned. <laughs> this is why we see our Narottam Das Thakur when he sings the song Nitai Pada Kamala Koti Chandra Sushitala. He says something very interesting there. Our Narottam Das Thakur in that song, we sing this song so many times, very popular song in the Gaudiya circles. Nitai Pada Kamala Koti Chandra Sushitala Je Chai Jagat Jorai Je Chai Jagat it says Nityananda Prabhu's lotus feet is as cooling as millions of moons. <laughs> and anybody who's scorched by the summer heat of distress in this world, they will find supreme relief at the lotus feet of Nityananda Prabhu. One time Srila Prabhupada was walking and I heard the story from Pragosh Prabhu. Pragosh Prabhu was mentioning that one time Srila Prabhupada was walking with his disciples and the moon was up there. It was sundown and moonrise. And Prabhupada looked and he said, he looked at the moon and he said, the moon also has fire, also has flames. That's why we have light from the moon. But it's not like the flames from the sun. The moon has cooling flames. So devotees did not understand. They said, Prabhupada, um, 
how can you say that there are cooling flames? The Prabhupada said, yes, flames because the moon gives light. There, where there is, uh, wherever there is light, there must be a source of heat there. But at the same time, this is cooling. And how do we know that? Prabhupada quoted this line and he said, Narottam Das Thakur has said, Koti Chandra Sushitala. That the, the lotus feet of Nityananda Prabhu is as soothing as millions of moons, which means the moon is very soothing. <laughs> this was Prabhupada's, uh, you know, uh, statement. Like to establish even a scientific fact, Prabhupada would go with the words of Narottam Das Thakur. So in this song, Narottam Das Thakur says, Shesham Bando Nahijar Britho Janma Gelotar Sei Pashu Bada Durachar Sei Pashu Bada Durachar Anybody who does not call upon the names of Nityananda Prabhu, their life is useless, says Narottam Das Thakur. In fact, he says that such a person is a Durachari Pashu, uncivilized, animalistic person. And then Narutam Das Thakur says, Nitaina Bolila Mukhe, Majila Samsara Sukhe, Vidya Kula Kiko Ribetar. He says, Nitaina Bolila Mukhe. Somebody doesn't chant the name of Nityananda Prabhu. Majila Samsara Sukhe. Such a person will drown in this world. And Vidya Kula Kiko Ribetar. What will his learning, his wealth, his beauty, and all of the opulences that he has. What use will that come to? At the time of death, when the Yamadutas will take, it's time up. Even Lochandas Thakur has said the name of Nityananda Prabhu will save one from Yamadutas. Um, Lochandas Thakur has said, Nitai Gaura Nam Anandera Dham Jejana Nahila Nitai Gaurnam Anandera Dham. The name of Nitai and Gauranga is the abode of all sweetness. Jejana Nahiloi. And still, if somebody doesn't chant the name of Nitai, Tara Yamarai Dhore Loe Jai Narake Dubai Ta Narake Dubai Ta. The Yamadutas will hold that person by the hair. If somebody doesn't chant the name of Nitai, a very graphic, a very graphic description. Tara Yamarai Dhare Lae Jai Narake Dubai. Somebody doesn't chant the name of Nitai in Kali Yuga, Yamadutas will take. Lochandas Thakur has said. And on the other hand, if someone chants the name of Nityananda Prabhu, then what happens? Chaitanya Nityananda Nahi Sabavichar Namalaite. Prema de Bahe Ashrudhar. We read this words from Chaitanya, Chaitanya Charitamrit. That Krishna Nama Kore Aparade Ravichar. That the name of Krishna considers offenses. But the name of Nityananda Prabhu and Gauranga Mahaprabhu considers no offenses. When we chant the Hare Krishna Mahamantra, we read the ten offenses before chanting. But the name of Gaur Nitai, they consider no offenses. In the Navdip Dham Mahatma Srila Bhaktivinoda Chakur has said, Gaura Nama Gaura Dhama Gaura Rupa Poon Aparad Nahima Nitarite Nipun That the name of Gaur Nitai, the forms of Gaur Nitai, the abode of Gaur Nitai, Eka Chakra Dham, Navdit Dham, the pastimes of Gaur Nitai, Shri Chaitanya Bhagavad, Shri Chaitanya Charitamrit, they don't consider offenses. Gaur Nam, Gaur Dham, Gaur Rupa Goon, Aparad Nahima. They don't consider offenses and Tarite Nipun. They are expert deliverers for one and all. To conclude, I would like to read a few verses from Chaitanya Bhagavat. Very, very beautiful. This comes from the Madhya Khanda, chapter 4. Vrindavan um, Das Thakur has glorified Nityananda Prabhu. Atraeva Tumare Je Jana Priti Kore. Satya Satya Krishna Kabu Nachadi Betare. Brindavan Das Thakura said, This is true, this is true. Satya Satya Krishna Kabu Nachadi Betare. Krishna will never leave a person. Athayeva Tumare Je Jana Priti Kare. Anybody who worships Nityananda Prabhu and chants his names, Krishna will never be, Krishna will never give up on such a person. In fact, he will uplift. And therefore, Brindavan uh, Das Thakur has said, 
कृष्ण चंद्र तुमार हृदय निरंतर तुमार विग्रह कृष्ण विलासे रिताय कृष्ण लिव्स इन योर हार्ट कृष्ण चंद्र तुमार हृदय निरंतर कृष्ण इच ओनली लिव्स इन योर हार्ट एंड योर बॉडी इज द प्लेस ऑफ कृष्ण अनलिमिटेड फैस्ट टाइम्स चैतन्य प्रिय देह नित्यानंद राोमोर प्राणनाथ मनस्काम Brindamdas Thakur says that my only desire is may the beloved associate of Mahaprabhu Shri Nityananda Prabhu be my lord lifetime after lifetime. Tahara prasade hoila chaitanya te mati tahara agya likhi chaitanya rastuti. Just by his mercy, Shri Brindamdas Thakur says, by the mercy of Nityananda Ram, my mind is attracted to Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and only by his desire and empowerment am i able to write something about nitai then finally very beautiful two verses prindavan das thakur says samsare ra par hoya bhakti ra sagare somebody who wants to cross the ocean of dukha and drown in the ocean of sukha je dubi beshai bhaju ka nitai chandere they should worship nityananda prabhu if you want to cross the ocean of suffering and drown in the ocean of joy Vrindavan Das Thakur says, holding the lotus feet of the devotees, I beg, just chant and worship Nitai. Bhaja bhai he no chaitanya nityananda charan. Oh dear brothers, I beg you, just worship the lotus feet of Gaur Nitai. Jahar prasade bhai Krishna Chandra charan. You will get the shelter of Krishna Chandra in Vrindavan by taking shelter of Gaur. 